everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. So today we are going to go through one of the most frequently asked questions. So people always ask me, how can I get these comparisons under my scorecards, right? So this plus, let's say 4%, plus 9%, plus 6.9% that you see the green number under the scorecard. So that's extremely easy. Before we go straight to the point, please subscribe and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you in advance. And let's go straight to the point. So let's say, for example, here that you insert, for example, a new scorecard, right? And you have, let's say, views here and you want to apply the same effect. You want to basically have this little indicator, basically, that compares the performance of one period with another one. All you have to do is go on the right hand side under the setup column. So you click on the scorecard, you go under the setup column on the right hand side, and then you scroll a little bit and you're going to find basically this option that says comparison day trades right here. You're going to click on this drop down menu, then you're going to click on the next drop down menu, and you're going to say, I want to compare with the previous period. And then you're going to press apply and off we go. What does it mean now comparing with the previous period? Comparing with the previous period means that when we select a date range, so for example, if I select last month, then these scorecards are going to compare with the previous month. This is what is happening here. So we are comparing with the previous period. If I select, for example, let's say this quarter, then these scorecards are going to compare with the previous quarter. If I select, for example, here, uh, let's say this month to date, which are, let's say, eight days, then the system will go back and compare with the previous eight days. So this is how it works. Now, can you compare with a different date range? The answer is yes. So all you have to do is, let's say, click on the scorecard or even better, select all of them, then go on the right hand side and under comparison date range, you can actually come here and you can change previous period with something else. For example, let's say I want to compare with the previous year, right? So that's a fixed comparison. So fixed comparison means that if let's say you change the dates here, whatever dates you select, the system will now compare with the previous year because this is what you said to the system, right? And you can also customize that further. You can say, I want to compare with a fixed period and you can actually select the dates of your fixed period. So let's say, for example, I want to compare always with, let's say the period from 1st of February to let's say 28th of February, right? So this is how we can compare with, let's say a fixed period, right? So my recommendation is always compare with the previous period because this is going to make your report a lot more interactive, right? So whatever the dates your stakeholders select here from the drop down menu, these scorecards will always give you an indication of whether things are improving or they are not improving comparing to the previous period. One more thing as a bonus tip, you can do the same exact thing with tables. So let's say, for example, here that we have a table. So let me insert basically here a table and I'm just going to give you an example here. So we have maybe, let's say, channels, and we have some metrics here, for example, sessions or engage sessions. And let's say that you want to compare, for example, with the previous period. So all you have to do is you select your table. So you click on your table. Again, you go on the right hand side. Then you scroll a little bit. You find this comparison date range. You click and you say, I want to compare with previous period. And now you added this delta column. So you see here that there is this delta column that tells you these are the channels, the dimension we selected, and this is how the sessions are comparing to the previous period. And last tip, what I like to do with tables is I like to come here, click on the chart and convert them to a heat map. Because if you convert them to a heat map, then things are better actually for you to understand basically the data, meaning that everything is going to be more clean and clear, especially if this table includes, let's say, multiple metrics, you will be able 
to really understand, for example, which channel has the most sessions, engaged sessions, conversions, events, and so forth. So that's how easy it is to compare with the previous period or any period that you like for tables and scorecards in Looker Studio. If you like the video and you learned something new, please subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Thank you in advance. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye.